Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mwita Junior. For the return subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. And in case you are watching for the first time, kindly consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you can be getting notifications. So guys, today is a very beautiful day here in the village so i'm coming live and clear from ayamar ayamarwas village so i don't know if you can see maybe i can zoom so that yeah you can see that his the white house there it's his villa so today guys i just wanna meet one of the entrepreneur who normally farm fish so there is a fish pond down there near Ayamarwa's villa. So I'm going to meet that guy so that we can have a discussion. And also he has told me that today he's going to harvest too. So I have to be there. I want to show you how we normally harvest fish in the village, guys. So kindly come with me so that I can show you amazing things. Yeah, so I'm heading there. Yeah, as you can see, you know, there is a lot of rain, so that's why you can see they were harvesting sand. The other time, there was uh, too much rain, and it caused a lot of damages. Yeah, so you can see these maize here were affected by the rain. <laughs> but you know very well that <laughs> in farming, there is no insurance cover, so... Once your farm is damaged, that that is a direct loss. So nobody will be will compensate you, guys. So as you can see, this is how the rain damaged this place. Yeah, you can see down there. That is a a river. I think it is a river. I don't know if I can go there and show you guys yeah yeah <coughs> yeah <laughs> this is water and it seemed to be very dark i don't know why yep guys go you can see when it was raining water was coming from the other end up to here you can imagine guys Oh, I'm almost falling down, guys. Hi. <laughs> this is our local bridge. Yeah, so guys, finally I'm here. You can see the pond I was telling you. And also I have a, f a friend here. He's uh, my fellow YouTuber. Yeah. Uh, welcome again to Mr. Junior. Junior. Yes. YouTube channel. Yeah. I'm glad again to be in your channel. I've yes. just have been hearing you that uh, you are a YouTuber. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I see you around with uh, my cousin called uh, Majake. Majake E. Yeah, Majake yes. E. Majake so, is a good friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm very, very glad uh, to you, uh, the people of uh, Muita Junior. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel at Pesaman. Pesaman. Yeah, Pesaman is a combined word. Yes. Yeah, no space again. Again, it's the Pesa and the man. So maybe you have your phone so that you can show them. Do oh, you have your maybe, phone? Yeah, it's yeah, there. You could, if it has gone, not gone off. Yes, he, guys. Uh, let him show you his name. Yeah. I want to show you his know. channel so that you can support me. You can support him on a road too. 1,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah, guys. I know you can make it in less than a day. Yeah. You can hit 1,000 subscribers. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, this is the net. I mean, yeah. I thought. Fishing net. Eh? Fishing net. Yeah. But it has a big holes. Which ones? This, this one. Yeah. Oh no no no! Because the fishes the the, the 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 fish are so big, so yes. uh, we have to use this one so as we cannot catch the small ones. Yes. Yeah, we want the big one only. Yeah. So because guys, this is the boss himself, 
Ah, uh, the gene chef here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can just uh, <laughs> get your uh, order from me. So you can just give me your order, then I can just supply. Yeah. So I have uh, an order here. I want to supply to some uh, people. So uh, this is just a preparation. Yes. Uh, here we have uh, some sinkers and some floaters at the far end here. Yes. Uh, this one's float. These are these are the floaters. Uh, these are the floaters. They're okay. just plastic, plastic. Okay. Ones. And yeah. this one, uh, these are just uh, a metal. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, just sinkers. So this net is just operated by two people. Yes. Yeah, one yes, from the other end. Yes. And the one from uh, another Edith. one from this end. Yeah. So we move towards the far end. So there. are you going to remove the water so that you can yes. no, catch no, no, the no. fish? No, we are not removing any water because uh, we want just a, it was just a small order. Yes. So from tomorrow, by the way. Yes. Uh, I shall be harvesting officially. Yes. Uh, because uh, of the natural calamity, we had floods here. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I don't want to lose everything. Yeah. So before before I lose, yeah. I should just harvest what I have. Yeah. So as I can just uh, overcook these uh, uh, some uh, losses. Yes. So I don't want any loss here. So I have to harvest tomorrow. So today it's just an order, uh, big ones only. But yeah. From tomorrow it's everything. Everything. Yeah. And then you put an ad. How do we so call this? I'll just clear the pond. Yes. Uh, I'll just harvest for like three days. Yeah. Then uh, I have my own uh, place at the market there. Yes. Uh, so I just uh, uh, dry uh, fry them. Yes. Fry them uh, for the customers. For direct customization. Okay, so yeah. how long do you take for you to harvest? Oh, it's just five months to six months. Yes. Yeah. So by now they're just uh, on 26th yes. uh, of uh, this September. Yeah. They just uh, approach uh, to six months. Okay. So you can harvest from five months, six months. Uh, it's just they're just observable. Yes. Yeah. By the way, so you can just observe them how they are, the demand you have, yeah. the market demand. So the most of where I am here yeah. at Nyabuanse, the market demand is from uh, 100 shillings, 50 shillings to 200 shillings. Past there, yeah. uh, most of the people here economically are not good. <laughs> yeah, so sure. I have to, that market, that, that, that's the demand of the market I have. Yeah. So they are now big enough for consumption. Uh, and the consumption rate at the market there, yeah. uh, they're just the uh, the mamas. Yeah, yeah, you uh, understand. These are the mothers, eh? yeah, who are just uh, selling from uh, small small kiosks, yes, uh, small business groceries. So they demand on fifty shillings, one hundred past there because most of the people around, yes. they have many kids, so uh, you cannot purchase the uh, for. Big, big ones yeah. because the, you can just get for the 51, 50, 50 for all the kids to yeah, yeah. have a meal. So we are just going to remove uh, some, uh, I have an order of uh, 2,000 2, shillings. Yes. So those are like uh, 10 fish. So for how long have you been into this business? Uh, this business uh, was introduced by my father officially. Yes. Wow. Uh, but uh, due to economical and financial status, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I overtook him. Oh. So he left them for me. Yes. But I constructed the other four, but yeah. he left for me this one. Oh, so this I, was the main one. Yeah, this was the main one. Yes. So I constructed the other one at the far end uh -huh. and this one at this, this one end. Here. So I have harvested this one. Yes. So it's just a renovation yeah. and I installed the Another fish. Uh, fingerlings. Fingerlings. Yes. So from this project how I started it yes it was from 2021 wow yeah so so you have enough experience i <laughs> have experience then i went for short courses uh, about uh, fish farming which is aquaculture okay. so i can just perform this and i can just perform to other people yeah yeah <laughs> okay what are the challenges maybe you are facing as a farmer we have the big four challenges here yes <laughs> one uh, in two years, they can just get onto the project at any time, anyway, 
they want at any angle of this area. So this area project is not just fenced. Yes. That's the biggest pro I have here. So I have not just fenced it. So I have intruders from outside who can just pass away or get through the land or the project. They can just interfere with something like dikes here or they can just um, open the outlet so you can never know the intention of some people who can just intrude into this yes. project. The second one, <laughs> we have a problem of feeds, by the way. Yeah. They are just expensive and um, they are not locally available. Okay. So you have to look them or you have to get an order so that the company can just supply you. But so you have to get some uh, big uh, uh, order order, yes. or demand yes. so they can just consider you first. But if you have some small orders like five bags, ten bags, so you will wait until they need, they, they, your order is just uh, minimized yes. at the uh, at the um, uh, company so as you can be supplied so we have uh, a challenge of feeds and uh, the third one we have uh, a challenge of um, uh, they are called um, predators yes so as you know these birds of the predator birds like here, the eagles. Yeah, yeah they just come here and they can just take some fish from the water surface yes so i, I don't have a uh, predator net so that they can just prevent them from uh, being eaten with the predators here. Yeah. 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 Then uh, <clears throat> the fourth challenge I have here, uh, as you can see, uh, how the land is. Yes. So I have a challenge of uh, water flow. Yeah. So I, I don't have a consistent water flow where they can just uh, get a channel where they can just pass. So water comes from upwards with a large quantity so as they can just pass through and to these fish ponds yeah. uh, direct. So that's even a challenge uh, upon the in, in terms of natural calamities. Yes. Uh, when in, term, in terms of natural calamity occurs. Yeah. So those are the big challenges we have here at the farm. So others, they are just minor, minor. We just uh, cope up with them, yes. and uh, we get uh, the solutions first. Yeah. Uh, some are so minute, so they're not headache. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So have you ever got a loss? <clears throat> yeah, I got a loss <laughs> one time. Yes. Whereby uh, uh, <laughs> we can just talk about the natural calamity of uh, drought. Yes. Yes. So there's a uh, in 2022. Yes. Uh, there was drought here in Kenya, yes. so uh, this fish pond here yes. went dry. Yes, as yeah. you can see, this fish pond here. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it went dry. Yes, and the other one there. So I had installed yes. the far end one. Mm -hmm. So I had installed uh, some um, three thousand fingerlings. Yes. So on all the ponds. Yeah, the two ponds. Okay. It was a 1,500, 1,500 yes. fingerlings. Yes. So they were like one month. Then uh, <laughs> the drought came. Yes. Then I lost. There was everything. no water. So the, so the eagles came and they ate everything. Yes. Yeah, that's where now I went alone. So I had to start up again in 2023. Yes. Yes. Okay, I can see the color of this water is different. And this one also different, and yes. the other one is different. Yes. What is the secret behind them? Let me start with this one. Yes. Yeah. Let me use uh, an example of this one here. Yes. As you can see from the camera here. Uh, this fish pond, yes. I've just told you about the, the, the floods. Yes. So yesterday, yesterday, yesterday mm -hmm. we had a, a very huge rainfall. So uh, the topography is just slanting from up towards my fish pond. So yes. this fish pond are at zero level. It's just a zero level. Yes. So that's why I have water here. So as you can see the topography, water came from upward, so I don't have the ridges and the tunnels that can just turn water. Yes. So because I had not planned of it, because it has never occurred. Yeah. So, but uh, yesterday it occurred <laughs> officially. So as you can see now, this is the natural, the rain for water yes. from floods, yes. it came through upwards there, then it came into the fish pond here. But this one, the big one here, yes. the color is somewhat greenish yeah. in color. This one, uh, the greenish content, as you can see it, yes. uh, it's a due fact that I use uh, animal waste. Like cow dung. Cow dung, yeah. uh, uh, the poultry dung. Uh, such wastes from animals mostly yeah, yes. so the cow dung 
or mostly as it's just wet, uh, it facilitates the turning of water into greenish in color. As okay. you can see, that's a greenish color. Yes. So uh, we can just put a green matter. Yeah. So the green matter, as it is right now here, it has a, a it keeps some problems out, like uh, it prevents uh, uh, the view. Yes. From predators. The, uh, no, it's just called the 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 the, the, the view. Yes. From uh, you can just uh, not see direct onto the water okay. so it uh, it uh, turns water into green so as you cannot view direct to the how the fish are so yeah. it prevents the predators from uh, uh, viewing direct from an area of view yeah. the way they are just uh, uh, flying so they cannot view a fish direct onto the pond and pick it okay. uh, the other point is as it turns water into yeah. green so that's a green matter whereby it facilitates the growth of algae so okay. the growth of algae at the surface area of the pond, the down surface area, uh, it, it, it neutralizes the, the, the area, then uh, the algae always uh, uproots out, okay. whereby they can just eat the algae when uh, they are just basking and uh, they are just relaxed before I can just uh, impose to them some food, okay. some feeds or... And the third one, yes, uh, it prevents uh, the entry or uh, uh, the stay of snakes. So the snakes cannot stay at this area because uh, cow dung uh, does not go hand in hand yes. with the, some Snake. snakes. Okay. So wherever you just step onto this land, you know, you are just assured of security. Okay. You cannot be beaten by uh, yes, some snake. snakes or uh, you cannot get some harm from insects that are just uh, poisonous. Okay. Yes. Uh, as we can just say, another point is, uh, as the green matter it is, so sometimes we get to into agriculture whereby yes. uh, we plant some veggies here, yeah. we do some nursery preparation. So we use this water to water the nurseries. So because it's just nutritious, yeah, the green matter is just nutritious unto yeah, yeah. the plants. Okay. Yes. So, and how many times do you normally feed the fish in a day? Uh, in a day, I always feed them twice. Twice. Whereby it's just 10 a.m. In, the in the morning mo yes. and around uh, 3 p.m. during evening. And uh, according to the feeds or the grams they just eat, a hundred uh, gram fish yes. can just eat around 10 to 20 grams uh, of feeds per day. Okay. So the more they are here, the more you, you, you just uh, get some feeds to them. So if they're just 1,000 and they're just 100 gram per each, so it's just 1,000 times uh, 100, 100 gram, which is around... Uh, then can just ten, uh, no, 100k. Yeah? yeah, yeah, it's just 100,000 grams, which yes. is around uh, uh, if you convert it, it can be just a uh, hundred uh, kgs. kgs. So, if it's just 100 kgs, so it should be 10 times 100. Yeah, so okay. you can just get uh, around uh, uh, 1,000 grams or uh, some 1,000 uh, or uh, 15 kgs per day. So Mm -hmm. Do they eat anything or they have a specific food? Uh, into that point, let me go straight to that point and you can just uh, understand it. Yes. Uh, if you use the local uh, materials, yes. which are the local feeds, yes. yes, it's not bad. They have some nutritious value, which whereby they are just highly concentrated on some, yes. like uh, proteins, or they're just... Uh, highly concentrated in terms of uh, energy giving, which is the carbohydrates. So the feeds you feed them, the more or the way you throw your your feeds inside here, yes. it's like putting your money into the pesa. So the more the feeds, uh, the more the money into the pocket, the more they grow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the more the highly concentrated feeds or nutritious feeds, the more the money into the pocket. Okay. So if you use the local feeds. To feed them, yeah. So they'll have a slow growth rate. The the growth rate will be just slow. But if you use the concentrate ones from the market, yeah, uh, th they are just uh, rationed. So they have all the ingredients they need 
in terms of uh, proteins, carbohydrates, protective foods. Yes. So they are just highly concentrated of those nutritious uh, uh, nutritious substances yeah. so as they can just feed and just give a high growth rate. And um, we have uh, what we call uh, uh, good hygiene to them. So they have just that appetite so they can just eat and we can get a good quality fish from here. Mm -hmm. So I usually use the concentrate ones because that's why they can just be harvested at uh, five months, six months to one, to one year. Mm -hmm. So it depends to your market. Okay. If you have more feeds, you can just say until one year so as you can just harvest mm -hmm. because uh, they have... Uh, yeah. So we can have um, uh, a, your market demand yeah. gives you the direction on where you have to harvest, on what time, uh, which size. So because uh, my market demand is of uh, 150 shillings, yes. so it's just five months, they are just 150 shillings. Uh, if you want a uh, 300 shilling to 400 shillings, you have to go for 10 months to one year. So it will just depend on the feeds you are just feeding them. If it's just a concentrate, in one year you'll have that fish of 400 shillings to 500. But if you are just using the local feeds, or the local materials, yes. uh, they just took 10 months to one year uh, so that they can just have uh, that um, uh, body of uh, around uh, 150 shillings yes. so it's just it will depend on the nutritive content the feeds have okay. because the local material we can just say they're just uh, millet husks uh, wheat husk yeah uh, maize husks yeah those are the local uh, feeds we have so as we can yes they eat them yes but they have a low nutritive value to them but okay. if you go for the concentrate, they are just rationed and to those ingredients uh, just uh, measured and they are given into a correct proportion. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so for example, when there is flood yes. uh, and by bad luck, your fish, uh -huh. fishes will be taken away by water. Do you have insurance? Or no, no, That no, is no. just a loss. That's called a loss. <laughs> That's a just a direct loss. Yes. Because uh, in terms of fisheries in Kenya, yes. they have not just introduced those insurances. Insurance, yeah. Yes, they can just cover us with that insurance. Yeah. But maybe some years coming, we just introduced to them such a, a content yeah. so as they can just get into that. Because all oh, people are just listening to us the way we are yeah, just sure. speaking. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So they can just communicate and get uh, a report and just uh, know that uh, sometimes uh, we have to risk because uh, if you invest, yes. uh, I'm a businessman, so yeah. I am a risk taker at any time because floods, when they come, I'm around the river. Yeah, yeah, the river yeah, yeah, yeah guys, there. you can see the yes. river is there. The river is just yeah, there, there, down there. So uh, if floods come and just take away the fish pond, yes. it's that way. Yeah, There's no compensation nor anything. So you just uh, embark onto your project, yeah. uh, reform again, Continue your business. If you don't have money, the land will just be bare. Okay. Yes, that, so, that's even the challenge we have. Okay. How many fishes do you have in total? Uh, in total, in this fish pond here, yes. I have around uh, 1,500 fish. Here? Yeah. I installed uh, 1,500 fingerlings. Yes. But uh, by now, I know some can just get some physical injuries yes some can get uh, what we call uh, stress yes they can just get die because yeah, when we sure. are just installing yeah. the fingerlings i'll show you one day when i'll how be installing install. yes yeah. the fingerlings and where we get them and how we transport them how they're just packaged i'll give you the whole content about it so when we are just installing them here there are just 1500 fingerlings from the the purchasing ground where you purchase them or the company you have just purchased them from yes. so they assure you they're just uh, the number you ordered for oh. but when you reach here yes. some can just get some stress onto that uh, plastic bucket yes. and they can just die some cannot go hand in hand with the environment environmental challenge yes so they cannot adapt the environmental challenges here so uh, they have some problems. So when we install, we are just uh, 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 we have to just 
start counting from 1300 yeah so you can just say the 200 ones are for the transport and some stresses and uh, or some can <laughs> die yeah. to the pond so that's how we just get no so by now i can just tell that i have 1200 here yes. so but that's just the approximation okay. i'm not sure because we install so as we can just uh, get that uh, quantity you want i needed 1000 from here Okay. So if I get 1,200, I'll just get that number I needed. So you mean that, that when you install the fingerlings, they yes. can't give birth? No, because uh, let me talk about that point again. Uh, when we're just purchasing the fingerlings yes. from uh, those companies that produce them, uh, like Giret Company, so you can just know them. Yes. They are just around the provincial. So... We just get them, they are just uh, given what we call um, family planning. Oh, so they're given okay. some chemicals yeah. that we now get them to be, uh, they will never to give birth them or they just, giving just birth. lay eggs. Yeah. So they never uh, lay eggs because they are just here for the purpose of uh, business. Okay. So if they just give birth, from because our fish can just take three months then give birth or yes. uh, they can just lay eggs yes so if they lay eggs onto this fish pond here mm. so we will have a compass we call competition here yes. so some will be big some will be small yes so the competition upon the feeds will not vary because you have just introduced some growers and they're just uh, onto the uh, first uh, they're called starter mash yeah so some are in starter mash, some are uh, in, in uh, grower, mash. grower mash. So it gives uh, some uh, rate there that's not, so it's just challenging. So we just get them for the market. We are just given, once we, they are just uh, given some chemicals so uh, they cannot just lay eggs. Mm -hmm. So they have to finish one month or 10 months to one year so uh, they can just now lay eggs because they are now big enough to be harvested here. Okay. So that's why we are just given th those kind of uh, some fish so as we can just install for market purposes. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Let us go now to Let fish. us roll out into fishing. I'll show you how we are just up uh, doing it. Yes. Yes. Welcome guys. Now we want to fish. Yeah, so guys, that's how they are installing the net. Yeah, the net is now in lysed in water. Yes. So we have the sinkers here. Yes. The down up space here. Then the upper space here we have uh, the floaters. Yeah. So these sinkers will just go down the street and this one will just be uplifted and the water. Okay. Yes. So we can just uh, get in, roll, roll in. So this, this fish pond here, yes. we can just see it here. Yes. Uh, it's just uh, one meter to one meter and a half. Oh. Yeah. The depth, yes. <laughs> so it should be constructed that way because uh, uh, sometimes we get into uh, in of it. Yes. So as uh, so, it should not give a, a big challenge when we are just getting the fish out. Okay. So it sh it should not go beyond the two meters. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, bro. Yeah, yeah I had told you to yeah. show people a channel so, so that they can like subscribe. It, that that's the name. Yeah, no bundle, but you don't have just, the bundles. Yes. Wow, you just read the yeah. yeah so, name. guys, you know, in the village here, we have a yeah. uh, <laughs> bundle problem. So, bundle his, problem. yeah, so <laughs> his <laughs> name is Pesaman. It is not clear. Yeah, it's there now. Yeah, That's it's the there, name. guys. Pesaman. Pesaman. Yes. Thank yeah, you so very much. Have, Yo, guys, have... already this is the, our first fish here. <laughs> our first fish. And Don't how long? The, the, the fin. You touch here. The gills. You okay. just close them. Yes, yeah. touch the gills, so so when you it touch cannot... this place, yeah. you will be like toned okay. in the gills. Okay. Yeah. So how long the does thing. it take to die? It uh, when you just uh, put it water. onto the water like that way, yes. you just stay Survive until like, it reaches uh, six even. hours. Yeah. Okay. But if you just uh, get put it down outside like yes. without giving it uh, some water, yes. so it can just die after 30 minutes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hey, Piamino, go for some. 
see how it is enjoying. So yeah. we are going to collect them at that end. Eh? Yes. <laughs> wow, let us see guys. Now we get in. Send the chinese son. Okay. Wow. Now let us go, guys. Now we are rolling. One hand is just down the surface. Yes. And the, uh, another one is just up the surface, uh, whereby we just uh, getting the uh, they are called uh, floaters. Yes. And one hand is for the sinkers down here. Okay. So you have to bend so as uh, it can just uh, reach the down the surface. Okay. Yeah. So the fishes can't turn you. No, 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 because uh, they just sense. Yeah. They know there's somebody in. Yeah. So they're just going uh, onto the, some edges of a uh, fish pond. Yes. So they can never get onto your leg. Okay. Uh, some way, if you can just, uh, uh, they're just uh, passing. Yes. They can just, uh, you can get some cracks from them. Yes. Whereby they're just uh, passing through your leg or somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So now what are you trying to do? So uh, we are just uh, this fish pond here. Yeah. It has some uh, potholes inside. Okay. So they can just uh, hide. go and hide inside the. The, the, the potholes inside. Yes. So we are just trying to get them out. Okay. Yeah. Do you see Koko Moisho? The Peter. Chikoko Moisho. Moisho. Koko. Chikoko Moisho. Koko. Koko. Somebody is in, eh? Yes, I can see, guys. Have you got something? Koja. Aziko, send you. Wow. Let me bring this one so that you can. You ready, Peter? Eh. Yeah. I don't know what No, I do Hey, it's passing, they're passing. Yeah. Let me take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm
have something here. Yes. Oh, they are big. As you can see, this size here. So this one, like this one, is how much? That's just one fifty shillings. Okay. Uh, when it's just deep fried, yeah. it's just uh, two hundred. Yeah, two hundred can just shift into two hundred, or yeah. uh, it's just value uh, added. It okay. will be just the value added tomorrow. Yes. So as we can just set it uh, at uh, upper our uh, an upper price. Okay. Yes. So we get them here. Put them onto the bucket. Yes, so as we can just uh, get them at the, the far end. Yes, so as we can just get them as a large quantity. Yes, so as uh, our order will be uh, accomplished. Okay, yes. Okay, guys, let us go again. Round two. Hey, there is another one there. Hey, that is big. Yeah, this one is big. Them via your hands uh, because uh, they are just inside the pothole. I just told you, yes, so you can just catch them with your bare hands, yes, or uh, you can just get some nets because uh, you have to be a superstar in terms hey. of uh, catching some, yeah, here. but I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> so, here, yes, uh, we have uh, different types of uh. Uh, te uh, techniques of just getting the fish from inside water. Yes. You can just uh, get uh, the whole of this water out yes. via the outlet or uh, you can just uh, uh, construct a, a, a channel there yeah. so as water can drain outside all mm. so as you can just catch them as a all. Okay. Or you can just use uh, a mosquito net yeah. if uh, in terms of uh, economy or uh, in terms of financial status you are just down yeah. somehow so you can use the mosquito nets to catch them. So if you can use a mosquito net, you sh the water level should be of a, a small quantity. Yeah. So as you can just catch them using a mosquito net. Or if you're just using this one here, yeah. uh, uh, it's just sized in terms of the size of fish you need. Yeah. So the, the spaces, as you can see the spaces here, yeah. they're just two inch. So they can just catch this big, big, the fish, big fish only. Uh, another tip, you can just use uh, this technique this boy is just using here yeah uh, is my colleague here we just uh, i just employed him yes so we are just getting the business running yeah yeah so let us roll out another time yeah we just uh, get the net at the far end yeah we get some fish so as we can just satisfy our clients okay Yeah, guys, that's how they are doing it. You can see. Yeah, guys. Then 
Hey, that one is very big. <laughs> it's just trapped. Yes. <laughs> it will never go anywhere. So let me bring this one. Okay. Yes. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. It's here. <laughs> what? It has gone. <laughs> yeah. Go down. Go down. Now we have the bigger ones, the red bigger ones. Yeah. Wow. Yes. That one will be mine. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we have the bigger red here. So this is the biggest. They're just uh, they're of the same size. Yes. Yeah, I have just told you. Pendo. Most are of uh, the same size. Yes. So we have two types of uh, this tilapia fish here. Yes. You can see this one is just reddish. Yeah. And uh, someone are just know. somehow dark dark. Yeah. So you can see the boy is just getting them onto the channel. They're just uh, digging. Uh, they're just. Uh, uh, getting them in themselves onto the channel. Yeah. So, these types of uh, tilapia fish. Yes. Uh, we have these the red ones, as you can see how the tails are. Yeah. Yeah. The fins, they're just reddish in, in color. color. Yeah. And we have uh, the other ones. Uh, White. Uh, they're somehow uh, dark, gray, dark, gray, dark. Uh, <laughs> somehow dark. Yeah. So. Uh, but uh, sometimes yeah. <laughs> uh, I do like uh, to invest in this reddish yes. because they have a good market. When we just deep fry them, yeah. uh, their their steak, uh, we can just say if you can just get them uh, the what we call a um, um, fish fillet. Yes, you can just get the fish fillet very from good this from one. these ones. Yeah. This so one that's a uh, dark one, by the way. So. In terms of growing, yeah, uh, this reddish one they grow so fast. Okay. Yeah, they grow so fast. But the dark ones, uh, they grow the the growth rate somehow minimal. Slow, yeah. Uh, but uh, they they get to be the biggest yeah. ever. But this one they never grow so big one. At, at they get at some point, yes, they just uh, get stuck yeah. into that position they are. Okay. So, but the dark ones they grow until you can just say I'm now satisfied with them. Okay. But the reddish one, they have a, a, an optimistic or optimum uh, rate where they just grow up. Okay. Yes. So are, are they enough now? Uh, as you can see, we are just going to tally. So as we see how many they are, so as we can now know if our order is now finished. Mm -hmm. Yes. There are two types. Yeah, this color. Yeah, and we have the dark this, one here. Yeah. Okay. But the tails are always red, both. 
Okay. Yeah, but uh, there are different species. Okay. Uh, but this one, the fields are uh, white, white, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's the museum, how much? Hmm? How much one? It's a one baby single. Then we leave. I think. Ni mungu tu ni hata saidia. Na ikimis. Ikimis. Maro. Baby on net. Tano tage kure. Uko mtoke uko. Maro yuko. Tano yu net mtage kure. Pachini. Kuna samaki. Eh stoa hizo samaki mzana. Kwa yaka. Yaka. Yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We've done fishing. Let us meet in our next video. Bye bye.